What made us consider going full-time RVing? How much time do you have? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Hang around and we'll tell you. Why do we sell our home in 13 and a half acres of land in Georgia? And uh, what made me walk out of a job of four and a half years that was a decent amount of pay? So, what led up to selling? Okay, uh, well... Lori uh, was on YouTube all the time, watching uh, different channels. Uh, a lot of them you guys probably know, Bob Wells, Cheap RV Living, Carolyn's RV Life, and the guy that really, really uh, inspired me to do this, Adventure Van Man. So there's your three plugs <laughs> to different channels. But uh, Adventure Van Man was the one that really got me thinking because this guy um, worked regular jobs and i think okay well maybe i can do that <laughs> but anyway i guess the the whole thing is that i got tired of working uh, 10 hours a day six seven days a week sometimes it was longer than 10 hours a day i got i was getting sick from all the smoke and the paint fumes in there because i used to build farm and construction equipment and all the welding smoke, there was no ventilation in this building except for the doors open. So in the wintertime, everything was shut and you had all these fumes building up. And it, it gave me uh, arthritis in my hands and my shoulders. And I it just, I like, you know, there's got to be a better way to do this. So when we sold and bought the RV, things started changing. It probably took me three or four months to get all that crap out of my lungs and Lori's migraines went away when we got away from that little area because I think the air quality was this horrible but anyway nevertheless uh was it worth it yes it was would I do it again in a minute and, I, and I'll tell you why the freedom that you get it's the freedom and you know you don't have a time clock to punch you're outside enjoying life you get to see things you we've been all over the united states except for a few places i want to go like montana idaho and north dakota but that's coming but i mean the freedom that you get from going full-time RVing is just unbelievable we met some awesome people uh in fact i got a hold of one that we met in winslow arizona It's an old guy that's living in a van his name's bob Bob, hi, man, if you found us on uh, YouTube. Uh, looking forward to maybe one day we can meet again. And several other people that we met. Some of them we just chatted with online. Uh, when I worked uh, at Camper Force here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, at Amazon, I, I worked in, with some of the best people I have ever met in my life. The most positive, upbeat uh, RVers around. And you guys know who you are if you're watching the video. And I wouldn't take nothing for uh, the friendship that we had, you know, and still keep in touch. Great people. And that's what you run into. Plus, if you don't like somebody, you can move, man. You don't have nothing tying you so down. long story short, why do we sell? Because I was sick and tired of the crap at my job. I love what I did, but I was tired of the management. I was tired of uh, breathing this god-awful fumes and uh, ruining my lungs. And my knees and hands and shoulders were getting beat up. Um, Lori, it's helped her out. Um, her health's gotten better. We're seeing things that we probably never would have got to see. Uh, we've been down Route 66, started in Oklahoma and went all the way to Arizona. Stood on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Polidero Canyon and uh, just outside of Amarillo, Texas. Got to see a lot of Texas. God bless Texas. I love that state. Um, man, I mean, you know, we bought land here in Tennessee. Uh, we've had actually time to look around and find out what so, we like. Uh, don't let nobody tell you you can't. There's highs, lows, and get ready because things break, buddy. I mean, they break and you're going to have bad days, but there's more good days to offset the bad. So uh, keep that in mind. And like I said, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. And we appreciate each and every one of you. And till next time, follow your dreams. And peace.